Welcome everybody into this new video. Let's take a look how we can create a landing page using the Wix platform. This one is going to be helping us to create almost any kind of website and there are free plans. If you do want to create something that's totally for free, I'm going to be leaving you a link down below in the description if you don't have an account already created. You might be having a few rewards just by signing up if you want to have a premium option here um, are like a few let's say offers of wix.com once we do have an account already created what we do want to focus into is into our site so when you are creating your first site you're going to be seeing like the wix is going to be asking what kind of content you want to create if you already have an account go into your site which is actually here into my site and you want to choose the create new site but once again if you are just getting started it's going to be appearing the section so here what kind of website are you creating so i want to go for landing so here i do have landing page i'm going to hit landing page because i want to customize i want to choose a specific landing page so here we can choose let's say a landing page for the product landing page for an application for travel for a property for bitcoin even bitcoin i think kids applications finance book so you can choose whatever option you want to i want to focus into the product landing page because i think this is really general and it's going to be helping us a lot to all of us so you hit into next and then what's going to happen is here in here is what would you like to call your website so this website let's say i'm going to be choosing pokey shop hit into next you just want to focus into only one project now it's going to be asking what would you like to add to your website like what are the features the tools uh let's say like the columns that we want to see into our landing page now i can strongly suggest you guys like the easier the better so i just want to create a chat support the forms and here i want to choose a video for example if you want to add more like events booking pricing plans forum groups you can add that i just want to focus into these options like as you can see those were the recommended once again the easier the better so hit into next and then it's going to be saying start setting up your website so we can begin with a template or we can get a custom built website that was created for from wix actually so we didn't have to do actually anything so key into custom build site if you want the application to do everything for you i think this is going to be really easy and it's going to be really useful for starters for people who are just getting started so what i want to choose here is my email I want to create an address, a phone number, and if I want to add a logo, I'm going to hit into show all files and I'm going to select the uh, image that I want to. I'm going to hit into next, and here it's going to be asking is pick a theme you like to use. So here we go with six of them. If you uh, want to choose a specific color that doesn't appear in here, you want to choose like the most, the most basic one. So I think for myself, we to choose the first one. We can change that later. You don't want to uh, be worried about that. Hit into next, and it says preparing your home page design. We are creating personalized for you. So pick your favorite home page design. Whether you want to choose this option, this one or this one now in my case i think i just want to focus into the second one because i just want to focus into just one product right so i'm going to choose this option hit into next and easy peasy our account our page has been created um automatically now this one uh has the option to add an faq i think it's going to be really helpful to have an an faq so i'm going to hit into edit side and now i do have access to the editor of the rendered website so here i just need to add all my stuff here it's really really easy as you can see we do have everything successfully done 
what I just need to do is to import all my stuff. If I clicked into one of them, let's say I don't want to see this, I don't want to see this, and of course I don't want to see this. So I just need to choose this column, add that in here, and the text like that. So it's going to sell. Lastly guys, this is like the most important part, uh, the most interest, in interesting part which is to manage your products, to manage all your items. If I choose manage pro products, I can choose any specific pro that I just created. Now, if we are just getting started, of course, we wouldn't have anything um, in here into our products. So this is just for as an example. But let's say that I'm just creating one item at a time. So I'm going to be choosing this three options go into more actions and hit into delete. I just want to focus into one of those. Now, I'm going to hit into the X button. I'm going to be showing you something really easy to understand, which that would be the tools that we have. If I choose the add elements, I can add text, images, buttons, the strip, decorative, boxes, gallery, and so much more elements. So depending on the tool, depending on the brand or the website that you selected, you're going to be adding more and more content. If you are uh, creating a landing page, I can strongly suggest you to, uh, to add much, as much buttons as you can. So here into the button, what I want to choose is to choose the buttons and I want to go for, let's say, icon buttons or document buttons or even iTunes buttons. So here, I want to focus into the image buttons, I mean the icon buttons, and I want to add, let's say, this one. And I can just use this, change the text and icon. What this, uh, what this is linked to? So here, I want to choose what's the alt text, let's say, contact or email us. Email us. So here I want to add a specific website. So what is the website address? Or let's say I want to choose email. What is the email address? So once someone click into this button, it's going to be appearing these email and the subject automatically is going to be saying I need, I need to ask you something or whatever option you choose. Now, what you can do after you've created something like this, remember that I want to focus into a specific landing page. So if I scroll a little bit up, I want to choose switch to mobile. In here is the way of how we're going to be looking as if we have a mobile section. Okay, I'm going to go into let's go. This is how it's going to be looking my website like this. It's really, really easy to customize that. There we go. And if I want to, let's say, for example, that I just added the image that I just sh showed you guys which is this one. Let's say that I want to create this as a button. So here I'm going to be, leave it like this. Choose the link. This is a web address. And here is my Instagram. Just input here your custom URL of your Instagram. Hit into big title. And here I want to customize this for our, and or let's say for example, follow, follow us. Do your own stuff. Do import your all images and if you don't have any idea of how you can create a landing page or if you don't like like the template open a new tab into google look for landing page example hit into your images and you might be seeing a lot a lot of options where you can get some inspiration which is actually really really simple guys so there you have it guys, now you guys know how to use the main tool with the basic tools into Quix. Um, if you have any questions, you can leave it down below in the comment section. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel if you want to see more information about the Wix editor and all that. So uh, good luck with all your sites. I can tell you guys that it's not so hard as it looks. It's really, really easy. You just need to have a little bit of patience and all your brand images and designs in order to just drag those into your into your website and just give them some creative uh, look and, and you're good to go so thank you once again for watching the video guys and i'll see you on the next one